Uh, yes, hello, and welcome to our next installment in our series of programs dedicated to playing card games solitaire. We have an item from one of our members, and Anna Marie from the state of Nevada writes in and says, Hey, card guy, I'm curious to know what is the most unusual solitaire game there is. Now, that, of course, is subjective, but uh, I think I found it. Now, this is a somewhat antiquated notion. Uh, it's based on a male-only activity that uh, you may not hear as much as you may have back in the 50s. And um, we're going to play a game based on this activity. The name of the game is Stag Party. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with this activity, this is a male-only gathering of revelry. Uh, ladies need not apply. Uh, and you're going to see this uh, come through in our game. So, let's begin. First, we will start off with a reminder about the deck. Now, we're going to use a standard pack of uh, playing cards, 52 cards per pack. You know this from previous episodes. Two colors, um, four suits, uh, 13 ranks per suit, and that is ace uh, through king. Now, this game will require two packs, so go ahead and grab... Uh, the other one out of the, the, the drawer, and go ahead and shuffle those up. So 104 cards total. Uh, I'd like you to shuffle them seven times, please, uh, to achieve the maximum randomness uh, before we begin. Now let's talk about how we're going to lay out our game. So before you have your stag party, uh, have a nice clean surface, as you see here, and start laying out your foundations. Now the first foundations are the eight fives. Go ahead and pull those out of the pack, set them up as I've illustrated, and your job is to build down. You will find cards and build down within the suit, ending with king on all those fives. Now, the six foundations are similar but different. Take those eight sixes, lay them out on top, and your job is to build up within that suit and end with jack. So, if you have 16 foundations, as you see here, your job is to arrive with 16 gentlemen assembled, as you see here. That's the stag party. That's the celebration. That's your job, is to have the most successful stag party there is. Now, how do we build on those foundations? Deal from your card, your pack, and create a tableau. This will be in rows of eight cards a piece, as you see here. You can move those cards up to the foundations. Five is going down, six is going up within that suit. So look for cards that will do that. Seven of hearts, as an example, can go right on that six. As you continue to play, you will set up new rows, and you will overlap only half of the cards above and keep building downward. Only cards that are uncovered can be moved forward. Now... Here's the rub. When a queen presents herself in part of your tableau, I'm afraid they cannot attend, so they must be discarded. And why is that? Because it's a stag party. Okay, get the idea? Well, let's give it a shot. Let's start off by playing a game of stag party, and we'll, uh, well, we'll see how it goes. So here I am with a nice clean surface. I've already pulled the fives and the sixes out of the packs, and I've created my foundations as you see here. I'm going to go ahead and deal out my first row of eight cards. There we are. I sped it up just a little bit. Now, what do you see first? Do you see what I see? Yes. Queen of Clubs is trying to get into our stag party. Well, I'm afraid that's not allowed. We're going to pull that queen out and set her aside. Thank you for uh, for, for coming, and we're going to now build on our foundations. That four of hearts can play up on the five, that seven of clubs can play up on the six, and look here, that four of clubs can go right on top of that, if I can reach, on that five of clubs. Okay, any other cards that can play? No. Let's do our second row, and remember, you're one half row down. You're going to overlap half of the cards above and create a new row of eight. First thing, does anybody notice a visitor? Yes, of the female persuasion. Yes, Queen of Diamonds. I'm afraid uh, I'm afraid you can't attend the stag party. So we're going to pull this queen and uh, set her aside, uh, respectfully, of course. And then we will continue to build up as you see. 
this eight of clubs fits nicely on the seven of clubs. You can take this four of diamonds and build it on the five. Again, the fives are building down and the sixes are building up. We can play all these cards here until we're left with no more moves. So let's build our third row of cards on our tableau. Eight cards go across. And again, if you are exposed, if you're open, you can be played. Oh, well, now look here. Two, um, well, two lovely ladies are now trying to get into uh, our, our celebration. I'm afraid that won't work because it's a stag party. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that queen like this and your, uh, your friend, or a cousin can uh, join you in the in the alleyway. So the seven can come up and play on top of the six. Here's another seven of diamonds that can play up as well. Any more cards to play? How about this nine of spades? Yes, the nine of spades can play up there nicely. And how about, uh, well, we can certainly put that two there. We're getting close to the end of that foundation. Let's build our fourth row. Got a jack and a three. And again, all cards that are open and uncovered are available to be played. Well, let's start off here. What do we have first here? Let's start off with the 10 of spades can play up here. We're getting close to wrapping that one up. Three on top of the four. Remember those five foundations build down. You put on the three and then you put on the two and look what's next, you bet. There's the ace. We're getting close to wrapping up that foundation. We run out of moves here. So let's put our fifth row out. Eight cards across, some cards are covered. They're now blocked. Cards that remain open are available to play. There's our eighth card there. Now, of course, you see what I see. Uh, another uh, visitor has uh, knocked on the door asking to attend, and I'm afraid we just can't allow that. So uh, this lovely lady cannot attend the stag party. I'm gonna place her over here. Now this Jack can play. Now that is our first gentleman in the stag party. It's an exciting moment. And this king as well is the second to arrive at the stag party. And I believe he's going to have a nice time this evening. Here comes that seven of hearts. We can play that eight of hearts as well, and we continue to build up our foundations, terminating with jacks and kings, as we've described. Okay, well, it's time for another row of cards here. We'll put eight uh, cards across. Some are covered, some are not. And, well, it looks like we have yet another visitor who heard about our stag party and uh, wants to pay us a visit, but I'm afraid, I'm afraid we can't allow that. We'll pull this queen of clubs, set her over here respectfully, and we'll continue to play our cards up onto our foundations. Now look at this. Now here comes our king of diamonds, and that's another member to the stag party. Uh, now we have three. Now we have the beginnings of a party. And then we have our eight of diamonds we can play up here. How about this nine of diamonds? You bet. Let's play that up. I think we can grab that ten. That's the better ten to play to expose that ace. Uh, how about this jack? Ooh, there's another member. Another member of the stag party has arrived. Now we're starting to build some ranks. We can put the nine here and the 10. That looks good to me. Anything more we can do here? Well, we may have to deal out another row of cards here. So here's eight more cards for us. Oh boy, we have yet another visitor and I'm afraid that in a stag party, the ladies uh, need not apply. So we'll pull um, this nice lady off to the side here and we'll continue to play. Now the four can place on top of the five here. The four of spades again on that five foundation. How about that seven? We can build up, we can build up with that eight. That 10 can go on top of that nine. And now look, we've got another member to our stag party. Oh boy, it sounds like it's a pretty raucous time happening in there. Some uh, rock and roll music and, uh, and, and whatnot. Uh, we can play that four. How about that three on top of the four there? You bet, let's grab if I can get that two out of there on top of that five foundation. Now the ace can join and it'll make way hopefully for that king if we can get to it. Fortunately, it's blocked at the moment. Uh, but look what happens next. We can certainly take that jack and he's now joined the stag party. So that's exciting. Here goes the eight of diamonds and we can place that three on top of that four of spades. Any other steps? Well, we run out of room and we run out of cards. So that's six gentlemen, uh, not a bad turnout for our first stag party. Uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, making the invitation and welcoming your guests. And uh, be sure to shuffle up those cards and see if you can better six guests at your next stag party. So thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed playing what I think is perhaps one of the most unusual um, solitaire games there is. Uh, it certainly isn't something that you hear every day about attending a stag party. So hopefully uh, it's, uh, it's something unusual for you, something different. Uh, certainly was a lot of fun. So thanks for joining me. And uh, be sure to tune in to our next installment. And hey, 
We'll see you again next time.